Hello everybody, Solo Boats here and welcome to the first video on this channel and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can level up and let it die. Now this is a pretty basic concept in leveling up and if you guys are pretty new to the game, the game was actually released a couple weeks ago and if you don't know how to level up, that is pretty sad but I'm going to teach you guys how you cannot be sad and how you can be a savage in this game. So I am level 17, this is my uh, grade 3 character. Uh, as you can see, the um, underneath my name is three stars, which is uh, great. I'm a striker because I, I, I like the damage and stuff, and the hearts and stuff in here. But um, yeah. So if you want to level up, and the class I would recommend you choosing is all rounder, striker, or defender, because defender it mainly uh, focuses on its stamina and health points, and the more health you have, the more you know, the more you don't get killed as often. But the defender also requires on its armor, so you also have to watch out for your armor stats. And uh, I am striker. I just go for the health points and my strength or my attack, my like my health. I'm actually focusing more on my health. But anyways, I'm really off topic. So today, to teach you how to teach you, you know, to do this <laughs> um, to level up. When you come from any level that you're on, coming back down to the waiting room, you come to this little guy. But actually, when you're done. Like, if you're taking the elevator, when you come out of the elevator, the big gigantic fat head guy right there is going to come and collect all your um, splithium and your kill coins earned. If that also comes when you come down to the escalators. And, uh, yeah. And that only happens when you come down to the waiting room. When you're taking it up down to any other levels, it doesn't really count because you're not in your waiting room. Anyway, still off topic, going to this guy, you can go on him and it will show you all this. Now, if you look all the way on the bottom to the left, not all the way to the bottom, but where it says XP cost and XP, where it just says XP is how much you have, and XP cost is how much you're going to be spending for one level, and uh, all of these cost 121, and I only have 105 XP or experience. I don't have enough, so you hear that sound? It's that, like, slowly deep dinking noise that means that i don't have enough and i recently just upgraded to level 17 or leveled up to level 17 and uh also where it says hp stamina strength dexterity vitalization and luck where it says like one out of 13 or one out of 14 that dip, that's how much you can upgrade it to or that's the maximum you can level up to and you can also keep on leveling up the more floors you get up to so here i'm gonna show you guys Ah oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. I, I hate the controls of this game. The X isn't jump, it's like the kick, so I swear it's jump. Anyways, going to your fighter freezer, I'm gonna show you the different grades. Now, I am not actually that high. I don't have any. Okay, well. Alright, yeah. So I'm gonna go to my pride character. Um, so it's level one, it's not maxed, but this one, depending on the gender you choose, that also depends on how much stats you gain so yes that's also a trick or a secret in this game i'm not trying to like point out anything but i always choose the black guy because he is pretty strong i'm not gonna lie um i like choosing him because his stats go up higher they're like improved at least two percent so it doesn't really matter about the race or anything i just like choosing the black guy please don't judge me about that but uh, yeah see uh, so this is i chose skill master and also it shows you a lot, a lot of crap. So, skill master, I wouldn't recommend choosing skill master. It just gives you uh, one more skill decal. It doesn't even matter. Don't choose the skill master at all. It's the worst. And I choose it just because it defends my base whenever I'm out of my waiting room. Your um, your uh, grade two character, you actually get that when you pass levels or floor six, I believe. I believe it's floor six. You get your all rounder. You get the striker and you get the collector i believe those are the first two you get and when you level up when you go f like further than level six or uh, floor six like floor seven floor eight floor nine and once you get floor ten you unlock all of the uh grade two fighters you can choose it and they cost four thousand the grade one characters they only cost 1000 but the all-rounder in grade one only costs like no money at all and the grade three characters or yeah the grade three characters they cost 
they actually cost 10,000 kill coins and I have 42,000 kill coins so yeah and uh name is Ariel <laughs> I call this guy Ariel but anyways yeah that's how you level up and that's the basic skill maneuvers that you need to know about and if you guys want any more tips and tricks for this video or this type of game then I will gladly teach you guys and it's Christmas so happy Christmas to all of you Christmas people out there if you guys don't celebrate Christmas happy Hanukkah but other than that that is it for this video if you guys did enjoy leave a like comment subscribe and I am planning to get Skyrim and I am also planning to play Elder Scrolls Online for you guys. I'm not that good in Elder Scrolls Online. I just like to, uh, you know, go for ads and stuff. But anyways, that's all the good stuff. That's all the good stuff you need to know. But like I said, happy Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy. I'll see you guys all next time in another video. Bye, everybody.